Hey everyone, welcome back to another tried and tested video. I'm so excited to be doing this video. I just love to do reviews on foundations. I'm obsessed with trying out different foundations. I have oily skin and it's acne prone, so I'm always on the hunt for a full coverage mattifying foundation. I'm all about a flawless skin. So we're going to test one of the most talked about foundation on the internet right now, which is the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. I got mine in the mattifying version, and I purchased mine at Ulta. It retails for $39 online. It comes in 18 different shades, which that is a whole nother topic of controversy right now because everyone has been complaining that there are not enough dark shades and I have to agree. The reason why I really wanna test out this foundation is because I am in love with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And this is basically the concealer in foundation form is what it claims. It's a vegan and oil-free full coverage foundation with a creamy texture and modern matte finish. And you're supposed to use this with the beauty sponge that it comes with. You can purchase it online or they have a paddle brush. I already have a beauty blender somewhere around here, so I'm just gonna use my beauty blender to apply the foundation. So it's waterproof, long wear, vegan, oil-free, talc-free, alcohol-free, hypoallergenic, waterproof if I said that already, dermatologist tested. This formula absorbs oil and shine while leaving skin creaseless, hydrated, free of flakiness or cakiness, and helping to improve skin health with every application. I purchased mine in the shade Light Medium Honey. I'm also gonna be testing out a new primer. This is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Face Primer. Also wanna note that I did apply a little bit of moisturizer on my skin before applying this primer. Let's go ahead and apply the foundation. I'm just gonna use my damp beauty blender to blend this out. At first glance, I think the color is actually pretty decent. One thing that I did notice was I felt like I had to blend the foundation pretty quickly Otherwise, it would have dried in certain areas and it wouldn't be as blendable. So having a damp beauty blender really made a difference. I so far really am enjoying it. I think that it's a good color. I think that it's giving me enough coverage. I'm just gonna finish applying foundation to the other side of my face. This is what my face looks like with the foundation. Obviously in the viewfinder, it doesn't really match my neck, but we're gonna make that work with some powder. My initial thoughts right off the bat, easy to blend as long as you're blending pretty quickly and with a damp beauty sponge. Great coverage. I really think that it's giving me a good kind of flawless finish. It is mattifying. And I do actually really like the applicator. It's really easy to apply the foundation. As you can see, it's basically the same as the Shape Tape doe foot applicator. Also testing out a new mascara. This is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. That's what I'm trying right now. I'm not gonna apply any eyeliner today. I'm just gonna show you guys what this mascara is all about and can i just tell you this mascara is so amazing it is so pigmented the wand is amazing it's super flexible it is like super it's making my lashes look crazy crazy long right now i'm back i just finished applying the rest of my makeup and so far you guys i am really liking this foundation, I feel like it has really kind of given me such a good finish. And I feel like 
it is a little light for me. I mean, maybe for when I get a little bit more tan or during the summertime, I might have to go like a couple shades darker. But so far, this shade seems to be working just fine. I had to bronze up quite a bit, but yeah, this is what it looks like. It is a little late in the day. I apologize, I started this review a little late, but it is three o'clock in the afternoon. I wanna try and do a little bit of strength training today and see if this makeup will hold up, maybe run a little bit of errands and I'll check back in with you guys in a couple hours, so stay tuned. It's been about three hours since I've applied the foundation. It's six o'clock at night, as you can see here. I thought I would check in with you guys and share with you guys what the foundation looks like, especially because I worked out today. I did a 40 minute workout. It wasn't super intense, but I definitely got a sweat going. I had sweat beads on my face, so I was constantly checking in the mirror while I was working out to see how the foundation held up, and I was super impressed. The foundation did not budge. It just was flawless, to be honest. It still looks really good. But yeah, I'm definitely giving this a thumbs up right now and I will check back in with you guys at the end of the night to give you my final thoughts. I didn't get to do a proper outro, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of a voiceover here. I checked in with you guys around 11 o'clock at night, kind of showing you what my face looked like. As you can see with the clips, my face looks pretty decent. Other than the fact that there's some oiliness going on in the T-zone area, I think I probably only blotted once. So I would say the foundation held up pretty nicely. Um, so I would definitely give this foundation a thumbs up. So here we go, the pros are, it is priced well, $39, you can't beat it for a high-end foundation. It is definitely a long wearing, mattifying foundation. It feels lightweight on the skin, it doesn't feel heavy, not cakey. The foundation did not move. There was no creasiness happening in my fine lines and wrinkles, which was really nice. Foundation also doesn't oxidize, which is really important. It doesn't turn darker after you've applied it and set it. So when you're doing lots of filming or taking lots of flash photos, you don't see this yellow face mask on. I would say the cons would be our limited shade range compared to like my favorite foundation, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. There's like so many different shades and undertones that you can choose from, but with this, you've only got like 18 shades that you can pick from online, and I would say they need to come out with more, more colors there. And then also, it does dry very fast, so you gotta work quickly. I would recommend applying foundation to one side of your face using a damp beauty sponge, or you can use a paddle brush. I would recommend maybe using even a little bit of MAC Fix Plus or some kind of a setting spray to help blend it out because it does dry quickly. So be careful there. And I really enjoy this foundation. Personally for me, the shade that I tested out, Light Medium Honey, might be a shade too light for me. So I think I might wanna exchange this for a darker shade, but other than that, this is a great foundation, highly would recommend it. Leave me a comment down below if you have tried this foundation, the mattifying version. If you like this video and wanna see more tried and tested videos, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.